So welcome back to Chemquiz TV. So let's focus on unit combustion. Um, this is going to be a series video on what unit combustion. So I uh, put the focus in this video. I'm going to look at what pressure combustion. So I can combust from one unit to, one unit to another in what in pressure. So now the first thing we want to look at is what now we have got various sheet of what pressure. The first one is what is ATA. We call atmosphere. Atmosphere. Another one I want to look at is what is millimeter what mercury. The other one I want to look at is what is tall. And the other one I want to look at is uh newton per meter square. This newton per meter square you just know that as what Pascal. Do that Pascal. I have PXI, which called pass per inch. Do that. So these are the various units of what. Pressure. So, if for example, here, if, if you have been given 2ATM, and we should convert to what? PXI. Or probably we have been given uh, 800 millimeter what? Mercury. And we have been asked to convert it to what? Uh, Newton per meter square. How are you going to do that? So, this is what I want to what, expose to you in this video. I'm going to show you a simple system. Two simple methods you can use in doing any compaction at all. So, so this one is going to help you in your what mass and what and in your physics. So that's why you really want to pay close attention. Follow this video step by step. And if this video, if, if this video is helpful at any point, or you are following this video, only leave it at the comment section. It goes a long way to tell me that you that is watching this video uh you actually what getting tons of value from this video here. So when you are converting from one to the other, you want to put, put, uh, the first thing you want to look at is what is the relationship between what units, the relationship what between what unit, the connecting what factor. If, for example, here we have convert to ATM to what PSI. So it is saying that you must know a connecting factor between ATM and what PSI or millimeter make it to what Newton per meter square. With that uh, relationship, you cannot go ahead to go to, to step two. Step two says that you should arrange them in a way they are going to cancel each other, left with the desired what unit. So we have to look at what the first one. Now, when it comes to what pressure. Now, when it comes to pressure. Now, when now when it comes to pressure, one ATM, which is called atmosphere, is all equal to what, 760 millimeter what, mercury. You will you really want to pay close attention to this, to this one here. Then one ATM is equal to what, 760 what, tall. Do that. Then one ATM is equal to what, 101325 newton per meter square. Newton per what, meter square. This newton per meter square is also known as what, Pascal. Also known as what, Pascal. They also have 180 uh, is equal to 40.2 PXI. Do you that? Now, uh, my various units, now when it comes to, comes to what, conversion in what, in pressure. So I'm going to write it here. It shows that here we have 180 uh, is equal to what, 760 millimeter what, mercury. Can you see that? Now, this 180 and the other equals to what, 760 ton. Equals to 760 what, ton. Equal to 101325 newton per meter square or pascal. Which also the same as what, 101325 newton per meter square. Is also the same thing as what 40.2 psi. So you have to say 40.2 what psi. Do, do you see that? So depending on what you are converted to, that's how you are what to go to what picky. Don't worry, I want to explain to you. You don't need to bother. I want to what explain to you. So I want to wipe this one here. Then I want to what take our our first question. Now let me wipe this one so I can what, take our first question. So now let's take what the first question is that the pressure of a gas is 725 tall. What is the pressure of the gas in ATM? Do you that? So I do that. I want to solve everything here. So you follow me closely. Follow me what closely. So you are converting what 
725 tall to what ATM. So that is what our destination. So we are converting 725 tall to what to ATM. So the first step you want to know is what write the relationship between tall and what an ATM. I will know that. One ATM is equal to what seven sixty tall. Do you do that? So you want to write that. So you have from the relationship, the standard what relationship here we have one ATM is equal to what seven sixty what tall. Do you that? Remember, what are we converted to? We are converted to what to ATM. It means that my final unit is going to be ATM. So I want to write this one in a mathematical word expression. Let me just put one like this so you get it. I want to write this guy in a mathematical expression. I'm converting tall to ATM. So you watch what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to be question mark ATM. Do you get that? It means that this is what I'm going to calculate. Equal to uh, this is my starting point. I'm starting for what? 725 tall. So I'm going to be 725 tall. Now I can say all over what one. The main reason why I say all over one because I'm gonna have what numerator or what denominator. If if I should remove this one here, this one do not do anything to this stuff here, it's still sent here. But I want to say all over one so that my brain will know that I have what a numerator, I have what a denominator. And I say times I put a division sign here, yeah, 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 a division here. Now this way I'm going to use what the second step. You must arrange you do it in a way they are going to work, cancel each other. Yeah, we are this way. I want to use our relationship here. One ATM is equal to what seven sixty two. Now, if for for this to cancel each other here, two is already at the top. Now, this two have to go to the down. See how I will here. Have to go to the down. So two we cancel at two. Do you understand? So you have seven sixty two. Then this will have to work one ATM. So it means that this store will cancel out this store here. Hope you are following. So it has to be 725 times one ATM over 760. What you want to do here is to multiply it one this times one divided by 760. Here we have 0 0.9. Five four ATM. That is the word answer. So this is what answer. Let, now let me move to our question two. Now let's look at what the second question say. Convert the following one four seven dot two kilopascal to what tall, and we have two ATM to what meter per meter square. So how do we convert that? So let's say first one a. A we have one four seven dot two kilopascal. Equal to what? To tall. So the first one want to do here, I want to write my relationship between kilopascal and tall. Do you that? Remember, uh, so our key focus is going to be kilopascal and tall. Remember, 180 and 180 uh, is always equal to what? 760 what? Tall. Equal to what? 1013. Two five newton per meter square. Now this newton per meter square is just known as a pascal, so I can just remove this one here to be what a uh, pascal. Remember, if I should divide this one by one thousand, I'm going to get half to low pascal, right? So I can use one eighty and equals what seven sixty to equals to one zero one dot three two five times ten to what three what pascal. Do you understand? So, because I'm talking about, so uh, let me know why it's your art, yeah. Because I'm talking about kilopascal and tall, I can easily watch the movies from here. So it means that my, my unit I'm going to use what? 760 tall is equal to what? 101.325 exponential 3 watts pascal. Do you understand? So I'm going to wipe your art. Remember, when converting from one unit to the other, therefore, you want to know the relationship between what units. And I've succeeded what writing the relation between tor, between tor and what uh, kilo pascal, between tor and what kilo what pascal, sorry for that, between tor and what kilo 
Pascal. So the next thing I want to do here now is to arrange them in a way that they are going to cancel what each other. Now, when we share the question here, we, we are converting what one for one year for seven point two kilopascal to tall, right? So it means our final destination is going to be tall. So question mark tall equals to what one four seven dot two kilopascal over what one just like the way we did in what first calculation times you put what a division sign here not more be at top more be at down but you will state that when you are converting arrange your units in a way they are they will they cancel each other because kilo pascal is at the top already this kilo pascal you have to go to the down so you can what easily work cancel out what we left is this guy so here we have 760 what tall over what 101.325 exponential of 3 kilowatts pascal. Do you see that? You can say this guy, you can say what this guy here. Do you understand now? So you're going to do what 147.2 times 760 watt tall over what 101.325 exponential what 3. So what you want to do here is so what use your calculator to so say so here. What you want to do is what use your calculator to what to punch your answer, and you're going to get your answer. So here we have one answer is what 1.104. Do that. It's always good you what leave your decimal point to what to three and what and above. So you got to do what kilowatt pascal. That is the word answer. Do that. So if this video is helpful, please leave your leave a comment and comment section that. This video is helpful. I actually was getting a lot of value from this video. It goes a long way to tell me that, yes, someone is there getting values from this video. And if you understand this method, yes, say this video, yeah, this method is very simple. And I, 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 I grab what the method, I grab the method you are using to solve the problem. Leave that comment section. It goes a long way to tell me that you are actually following me. So I will advise, I will advise you to pause the video. And try this B for me and see if I want to what get the answer. Please look at that question B here. Pause the video if you have actually follow what I'm doing here. Pause the video, follow exactly what I'm doing, and solve the B question and leave your answer at the comment section. You guys, I, I will not hear from you. Please do that now. Do that now. It's very important. So let's do together B. Let's do B together. So now let's solve question B. Two, two ATM towards neutral parameter square, right? So the question is to work on two, uh, the B part, two ATM towards neutral parameter square. Please pay close attention. Let's write the relation between ATM and what neutral parameter square. Remember, we have one ATM, one ATM is equal to what? Uh, 101325 newton per meter watt square, right? So, our final destination is what newton per meter, so it will be newton per meter square equals to what are we converting? We are converting what 2 ATM, 2 ATM over what one times. We already know that since my ATM is at the top, this guy is going to go to the down, right? Hope you are following. So, it's going to be 1 ATM. Here we have 101325 Newton per meter square. From here, you can say this guy, you can say this one here, right? So, all the left, so you just have to punch your calculator and get your answer. 202650 Newton per meter square. So, this video is too lengthy, and that with this formula here or with this method, we should be able to solve this one here. So, go ahead. Solve this one and drop your answer at the comment section. Please don't miss the next video on conversion units. Now, don't miss the next video about conversion units because next video we're going to talk about mass. You guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to learn how to balance reaction using the algebraic method, then check out the video on the screen. See you in the next video.